Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fur and Fam YouTube channel. I'm Carver. And I'm Lauren. And these are our two pups, Summit and Sawyer. And today we're going to give you a little bit of insight about electrical and more importantly the safety of your electrical. So electrical is really important to us because one of the most important parts of our van to us is making sure that these two are safe in here even when we are not in here. And if anything were ever to happen, we just could never live with ourselves. Um, especially if there was a fire, which is the main thing that you risk with improper electrical. Alright guys, we're going to jump right into it. First mistake that you want to avoid in your van is using the wrong wire and the wrong wire size. Now, real quick uh, on that, basically in a van, you never want to use solid core wire. So, this right here is stranded wire. And that's what you want to use in your van. It's commonly used in the marine industry and in the automotive industry. The reason being is when solid core wire vibrates, it generates heat. And that's the last thing you want your wires to do. So, and second to that, you want your wires to be the right size. So the thickness of the wire in the bundle that you're using is what you want to size to the amount of current that's going through your wire. All right, next mistake not using the right fuses or the right size fuses or in the right location. So, real quick on fuses. They're designed to protect electrical circuits. You're also going to notice that in a van there's circuit breakers on your AC side, but on the DC side those are what you're going to find regular fuses on. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's really excited about fuses too. She was trying to push me out of the frame there. Um, so, Fuses are going to protect your wire size, so basically that's another thing you need to think about. It's not just protecting the device at the end of the circuit, it's also protecting the size of the wire all the way to that device. And talking about devices, that's the last mistake you need to avoid, is using devices that aren't properly sized for what you're trying to run. A lot of times, inverters are sized and other electrical components, they're sized by the maximum that they can handle. And while that's a good number to know, there's another rating that you probably need to look for, and that's the continuous duty rating. And so basically, if you have a 3000 watt inverter, more than likely the continuous duty rating is going to be somewhere in the 2500 range, and that's where you really want to try to stay below. Now, will it run the true 3000 watts? Probably. Should you do it all the time? Definitely not. So, those are the three most common electrical mistakes that you should try to avoid in your van. Now there's many other ones. These are not, don't, if you do just these three, you're not going to have the safest van out there. Isn't that right, Summit? <laughs> I think she agrees. So basically, take this with a grain of salt. These are three ones that we know about that you should avoid in your van. And always take a closer look at your electrical system than you think you need to. And if you're not comfortable doing your own electrical system, hire somebody to do it that knows what they're doing. Absolutely. And always have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> that you never want to have to use if you do your van right. But, have one. <laughs> right guys, they can't use it because they don't have thumbs, but always got to have one. <laughs> so this is kind of just an introductory. We are going to do a video on each of the three things we listed, go in a much bigger dive deep down in depth for people that really just might not quite understand electrical the way he does. So, if you're interested in that, we're going to go from there in the next videos. What are you thinking? Every other week? Every week? It's going to be every other, every every, other week. Every other week. <laughs> yep. And until then, we do have other electrical videos that explain the electrical system that we used in our van. So if you want to check those out on their channel, we show how we used our Tesla battery module to power all the electrics in our van. We also go through how we sized all of the components in our van and how we decided how much power we needed coming in from solar and how much uh, power we were going to need that our inverter could handle and all of those things. So check out those two videos and come back next time for the more in-depth detail videos on the three topics we covered today.